continues to be go for launch. They continue to monitor uh, the clearance area around the launch pad as well as the air and sea space around that uh, downward uh, uh, upstream or uh, the flight corridor downstream from uh, the launch pad. As we mentioned before, we have to make sure that uh, all areas are secure in the unlikely event of a, an abort. There at Kennedy Space Center, the conditions are predicted to be acceptable for launch. Um, you can, if we had daylight, you'd be able to see that uh, conditions are pretty calm. There's uh, 13 mile per hour winds from the south southwest, uh, so pretty mild all in all. The downrange landing zones, as I mentioned before, are also within uh, the conditions as needed, uh, if needed for an escape. So everything also looking go downrange. Now, in about a minute, we will hear the uh, briefing from the launch director. As I mentioned before, uh, the readiness poll that is uh, underway is the final go for propellant load and for launch. There on screen, you can see the four crew members of Crew 6 waiting patiently to go to space. Not much for them to do at this moment, but wait for that LD briefing, which will be coming up in about 35 seconds. As I mentioned before, the team in um, Mission Control, as well as the teams in Firing Room 4, they are basically collectively, both with NASA launch team and the Dragon launch team and the Falcon Pull launch team. Pull is complete team. and the team is ready for crew access arm retract, propellant load, and launch. Both control rooms are going to lock down at T minus 45 minutes and remain in that state until the launch escape system is disarmed. All operators are remain at their console and maintain a sterile cockpit until MD confirms successful disarming the launch escape system following orbit insertion or propellant offload in the event of a scrub. Stage two, lock flow complete. Thank Dragon you. is in auto idle. You heard those calls. The Falcon 9 fully fueled with RP-1, rocket fuel as well as the liquid oxygen. That call of Dragon is in auto idle. There's going to be a series Gas of calls. Has started. Expect lightning. There's the gas closeout purging the lines of the fuel that has supplied the Falcon 9. RP-1 and liquid oxygen. We'll also wait for a call of the arming of the flight termination system. The Dragon flight computers are configured for launch. Flight termination system will allow Falcon 9 to talk to Dragon on the ride uphill. Terminate the flight, Falcon issuing an abort. Startup. Dragon is in countdown. T-minus one minute and counting. Dragon is in countdown. Everything's looking good for launch. Dragon, SpaceX, go for launch. SpaceX, Dragon, copy, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 30 seconds and counting. All teams pulled, go. Fifteen seconds. Ready for an on-time launch for the instantaneous one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off. The crew six. Go dragon. Go falcon. Pitching down range, 1.7 million pounds of thrust provided by the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Hearing good call, stage one propulsion is nominal. We're now at T plus 34 seconds into the sixth rotational crew mission on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one throttle down. 
there we have heard the call out indicating that the first stage engines will begin to throttle down in preparation for max Q, which is the moment of maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will experience during flight. Vehicle is supersonic. That call out there indicating the vehicle's traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. Stage one, throttle up. All right, now that we're past max Q. One Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. That one Bravo indicator are different abort modes that are called that allow the ground teams and the crew to track about the position of the Falcon 9 and the Dragon as they make their way up the eastern seaboard. In the event of an abort, these different abort modes would indicate about the position where Dragon Effect would land. Started as well as uh, indicate what series of maneuvers Dragon would indicate. But so far, we're hearing good calls on the performance of the Falcon 9 on its ride uphill. One minute, 53 seconds into flight. We're about 30 seconds away from main engine cutoff which will be followed quickly by stage separation and second engine start which is the ignition of that MVAC engine on the second stage. Now about 10 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Two alpha. Alpha. Copy, stage two alpha. separation confirmed. There you can see on your screen confirmation of stage separation as well as ignition of that second stage engine. Second stage is now carrying the Crew-6 astronauts to orbit. Beautiful view there on the left-hand side of your screen coming from the first stage, which as you can see is still gaining in altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee, a beautiful view of the Florida Space Coast there in the background. Meanwhile, we're tracking good performance on that MVAC engine. On the screen to your right, we'll be hearing periodic performance calls about once every minute for the status of the trajectory of the second stage and the Crew-6 astronauts that are inside Crew Dragon Endeavor. We'll also be Position hearing call outs. Bermuda. Just like you heard just there, as we pass over the various ground stations along the ascent track. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. There's that performance call out. Dragon acknowledges nominal trajectory. As for the first stage there on the left hand side of your screen. Dragon, SpaceX, we have a nominal orbit insertion. Great news there for... SpaceX Dragon copies nominal orbital insertion. Launch escape system disarmed. For Dragon Endeavor... Stage one, landing lead deploy. Attempting to land on our drone ship, just read the instructions. Stage one, landing is possible. And there you can see on your screen, and also indicated by the cheers behind me. Successful landing of this booster. It's first trip to space and therefore it's first landing. An eruption of applause here at SpaceX Mission Control. And of course, after second stage engine cutoff, you heard that call that the crew is in orbit. They're now in a coast phase where the second stage remains idle uh, for about three minutes before. Dragon separates from the second stage. Meanwhile, you can see that first stage in the legs right on target. We're now getting views from the second stage. You can see this is one of the cameras that's pointing up into the trunk of Dragon. Of course, we're continuing to get views of the expansion nozzle at the end of the MVAC engine. There you can see on your screen confirmation. Dragon separation confirmed. Of that separation confirmed. Dragon Endeavor is now floating free in space. It's 
right, the Falcon Dragon, 9. Dragon, CE here. Welcome to orbit. Congratulations. Your flight is exactly four years after the flight of the Demo-1 mission. Like Andre said, all the best things take two tries. Happy that we could get you off tonight. Uh, if you enjoyed your ride, please don't forget to give us five stars. Over to LD for some words. Also, a friendly reminder to put your sushi orders in for CRS-27. Have a safe ride to the space station. And SpaceX Dragon copies all. That was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> the Crew-6 astronauts, of course, uh, having a strong bond. And SpaceX Dragon, we'd like to really for the great ride to orbit today. Uh, it was greatly appreciated. It may have taken two rides, but it, two times, but it was worth the trip. And uh, I guess I'll pass it over to Woody for some words. Yeah, SpaceX Dragon, just want to say as a rookie flyer, that was one heck of a ride. Thank you. But I would say put it as an absolute miracle of engineering, and I just feel so lucky that I get to fly on this amazing machine. Thanks to SpaceX, thanks to NASA, commercial crew program, and our international partners. Um, a lot of innovation went into this, tireless work effort, and a lot of pain painstaking attention to detail and focus on testing. And I think that's what makes it all possible to fly humans in space. Thank you. Some really nice words. Uh, помогали в этом деле мне и всем ребятам. И я хочу сказать, что, что сегодня человечество делает еще один шаг в подготовке к новому большому скачку. И для меня огромная честь быть частью такой большой и дружной семьи, и величайшей международной команды, как Международной космической станции, работая вместе на благо всего человечества. Today, humanity takes another step. For next big leap, and for me, a huge honor to be part of such a big and friendly family and the greatest international team of the ISS, working together for all mankind. Thank you. Well said, everybody. Uh, allow me to say a few words in Arabic first. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 